Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me for another one of my spirit review videos. And as you can see, we've got 16 more of the best vodkas to review today. Uh, after I shot my previous video about the 16 of the best vodkas, I kept getting comments on Grey Goose should have been in there. Uh, Kettle One's my favorite, that should have been in there. So I decided, you know what, let's shoot another one. Besides, there was several in there that didn't get to make the last video that needed to be in this one. And so that's what we're doing here today. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce the players. Chopin's new wheat vodka. Of course, their original is a potato base, but this is their wheat. Uh, they're from Poland. Next, we have Kettle One from Holland. They're using a grain base. Grey Goose from France using French wheat. Ciroc from France using French grapes. Jean-Marc XO from France using four rare varietals of French wheat. Korsken Kolva from Finland using barley, so that's a little bit unique. Absolute Elix from Sweden using grain. They're using a 1921 all copper steel to do the final distillation on that one. Uh, heavy Water from Sweden also using grain. They're using water from an underground aquifer that's already very pure there, but they actually run it through an advanced osmosis uh, water filtration system, which removes 60% of that water and only the purest 40% is used to cut heavy water. All right, Dry Fly from Washington State. They're using Washington wheat. Cinco from Texas using American wheat. Cirrus from Virginia. i got to thank my friend David up in Virginia for sending me this bottle. Uh, Cirrus is kind of limited on distribution. I uh, kind of heard they were having a little issue with their building. I hope they get that squared away uh, because I think they're distilling a very nice vodka. They're using a potato base. Boyd and Blair from Pennsylvania also using a potato base. And then we've got Hangar One from Alameda, California. They're using grain. Uh, let's see, Russian Standard Gold. They're from St. Petersburg. They're using grain, but they're also adding a little bit of Siberian ginseng root, root extract in this one. Chase from England using English potatoes. And three olives also from England using grain. All right, let's get to the nosing. Chopin wheat. Sweet vanilla. A little bit of that cereal grain coming through. Also a hint of uh, the alcohol, the ethanol in that back end. That's about all I get on that one. Kettle one. A little bit of alcohol on this one. But there is a, a nice sweetness to it. Sweet grain with that little bit of alcohol in that finish. Also a little bit of that yeast is coming through that they're using in the distillation ferment. Alright, Grey Goose. Pretty clean, mildly sweet. A little bit of alcohol on this one as well. Also a little bit of vanilla. Alright, Ciroc. The grapes definitely making a different influence on this one. It kind of reminds me of a, a very light, very faint grappa. But a little bit sweeter. And also a fair amount of citrus. Uh, both lemon and lime in that one. Jean-Marc XO. Really no alcohol to be noticed. Uh, very, very, um, kind of like this creamy vanilla feel. Almost like a cream of wheat on that one. So that nice sweet vanilla, cream of wheat, nice cereal grains. Very nice on that one. Corsican Colva. Yeah, this one's using that barley. A little bit deeper of a, a grain note. It's just a little different, uh, but it does come off very, very uh, faint as far as any alcohol. Nice little vanilla aroma in there as well. And that's about it on that one. Very, very clean, very nice. All right, Absolute Elix.
mildly sweet, a little bit of vanilla, definitely a little bit of that yeast kind of giving you a bread feel. But that sweetness and that vanilla is really what's holding everything together here. There is a little bit of alcohol in that finish, but this is also the strongest as far as uh, alcohol, uh, ABV, than all of them. This one's actually sitting at 84.6 proof. The rest of them are 80, so it does stand to have a little more alcohol on that nose. All right, heavy water. I've got my nose all the way in there. I can't pick up any alcohol. Just very, very clean. Maybe just a touch of, of citrus, a little bit of vanilla in there. And almost a touch of malt. Not very noticeable, but just a little bit of malt. Vanilla malt type feel. Alright, dry fly. Whew. Wow, right away. Big difference. This one... I think, like, on this one, I think, like, caramel apple, uh, maybe butterscotch, a sweet baked apple. I'm trying to find the grain now. Underneath those big flavors, then you have a little bit of a, a soft wheat feel, soft, soft grain, uh, but it's just this big vanilla butterscotch caramel apple that is really taking the stage on that one. Alright, Cinco. Very, very clean. Uh, I'm not really getting any alcohol. A little bit of the grain is coming through. With a slight sweetness, but other than that, that's about it on that one. Cirrus coming from Virginia. soft vanilla. It does give me kind of like this uh, like a fresh potato and um, um, I don't know how to describe that. It's very creamy uh, but it doesn't feel like a grain. It does feel like a creamy sweet potato. Not a sweet potato but a sweet potato. A little bit of alcohol in that finish, but no real citrus or anything like that. Boyden Blair. Wow. That one reminds me of Dry Fly, but a little less intense on the butterscotch and the caramel. But it's definitely there, but it also has a little bit of a heavier yeast or a malt feel to this one. A little bit of vanilla. And just a touch of malt as well. All right, hanger one. Very clean, a little bit of vanilla, a little sweet cereal grain. Uh, there is a little bit of alcohol on the finish, but not too bad. Again, it kind of reminds me of like a cream of wheat feel on that one, but a little less than the other one that I found that in. All right, Russian Standard Gold. Fairly clean, a uh, fair amount of malt, vanilla. It's that sweet cereal grain. A little bit of pepper in there as well. And just a touch of alcohol on the finish. Chase potato. Sweet, clean vanilla.
and that's about it. Wow, that one's very, very clean, very nice. All right, three olives grain. Very clean as well. There is a little bit of a malt on this one. And just a touch of alcohol on the finish. All right, let's get to the tasting. All right, Chopin wheat. It enters with a, a very soft vanilla. Uh, a pepper spice kind of kicks up on the mid-palate. The grain kicks in there as well. And that vanilla and grain kind of linger through the finish, uh, but the spice is in there. Uh, there is a little bit of alcohol on that back end, uh, but nothing too horrible. All right, kettle one. It enters kind of soft. It's not very silky, but it has a good fair amount of vanilla, a little bit of sweetness to it. That one gets a little bit spicy on the finish. And it also has a little bit of a, a depth to it as far as a, a heavier malt feel, a little bit more of that yeast coming through. A little bit of alcohol in that finish. That one's probably better if it was served cold. All right, Grey Goose. Enters fairly soft again. Um, not very silky, it just kind of enters nice and easy. A little bit of vanilla building up, but then there's also that rubbing alcohol that's kind of building up with it. The rubbing alcohol never gets tremendously uh, strong as it would in a very, very inexpensive or poorly made vodka, but it's there. Again, it, it kind of starts nice with the vanilla, then it just kind of builds up a little too much with that alcohol. Yeah. Alright, now we're at Ciroc. Mm. Right away you get that, that uniqueness of the grapes coming through on the distillate. It reminds me of a, a very faint grappa that's sweetened. Definitely a fair amount of lemon and lime as well coming through mid palate. Yeah. So it's kind of like this sweet, subtle grape, but then this big lemon lime. And no real rubbing alcohol in the finish, so that's really nice stuff, especially for a massive producer as they are. Jean Marc XO. The best mouthfeel so far. Very, very silky. Very clean. Mildly sweet, but very soft and creamy as far as like a little bit of vanilla. Complementing that grain note, but it's very, very subtle and muted. No real alcohol in the finish. Wow, very, very nice. Um, Sippable, sippable vodka, uh, Jean Marc XO. Korskin Kova.
I like the Jean Marc XO, very, very silky, creamy. A little bit of vanilla. Just a little bit of warmth on the finish, not bad. No rubbing alcohol, just a little bit of spice warmth. Um, reminds me of Jean Marc, but it's just that pepper, that little bit of spice on that finish just makes it a little different than that one. Other than that, they're both very clean. All right, Absolute Elix. Hmm. When it first enters, it's very soft and silky. Then you get this big vanilla grain note kind of building right there mid-palate. A little bit of spice building up right behind that. A little bit of like a pepper kick. And then it, right when it kind of crescendos, it never gets out of hand, it crescendos and then it just kind of, kind of all meld together on that finish. Very, very nice. The best absolute date. All right, heavy water. Mmm. Wow. So soft. So subtle in health. Wow. Keep in mind, this, this bottle ran me about $30. I was actually, I found it on our trip to Kentucky in Mississippi. But for a $30 vodka, it's so soft. Just a, a nice light grain feel to it. Like I said, mildly sweet. But it's that nice soft creaminess to it that is uh, making it very, very nice. A little bit of a little bit of alcohol in the finish, but nothing uh, that would keep me from not recommending that one. All right, dry fly. just like it knows, but it enters very soft, and then you get this little bit of butterscotch, but it's kind of, I say a little bit, it feels bold compared to these other vodkas, but I guess if you were tasting it just by itself, it wouldn't come off as bold, it just has this really nice butterscotch flavor. Vanilla, that's the other thing that's complimenting that one. Big vanilla note. Then the grain creeps in right towards mid palate. Then the grain's building. With a little bit of spice on that finish, just to complement the other big flavors, that big butterscotch, that that big vanilla, and there's also that again, it's like a baked apple in there as well. Very, very flavorful bucket. Wow. And they're getting that out of wheat. That's amazing. All right, now we're at Cinco, Cinco. Very clean. Um, just a nice, very light vanilla, complimenting a little bit of malt in the cereal. But overall, I would, that gives me like a very soft, clean feel. I think that vodka would probably mix very well with anything without giving you that alcohol burn. Again, price point at only $20. I hope they get bigger so that everybody's able to get their hands on that one. All right. Cirrus. Some may call it Cyrus. Sweet, creamy vanilla. Just a hint of yeast. And a little bit of alcohol building on that finish. 
but overall very clean, very nice. Fairly creamy for the for a potato vodka, very, very nice. Alright, Boyd and Blair, another potato vodka. It reminds me of dry fly, but less intense on the butterscotch note, but it's there. Uh, you get a butterscotch a little bit heavier on a doughy yeast feel. Fair amount of vanilla. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of alcohol in that finish. But the way it starts, that's really worth uh, that little bit of pepper and alcohol in that finish. Now we're at hangar one. Wow. It starts very soft, kind of fairly soft, but then you get this big heavy yeast kind of feel. And then the cereal notes coming in right behind that. So it kind of tricks you in that it starts soft but then it gets really bold on the flavor and it is a heavier yeast feel a little bit of vanilla and almost that one almost gives me a little bit of like a banana flavor a little bit of alcohol in that finish uh, but overall that's pretty tasty stuff all right, Russian Standard, uh, the gold. Very soft, uh, again with the creamy vanilla. A little bit of alcohol kicking up mid-palate though. A little bit of rubbing alcohol on that finish. Right after that creamy vanilla though, there is a little bit of the grain coming through. I'm trying to see if I can pick out anything unusual as far as that uh, Siberian ginseng, but I really can't. That's about what I get in that one. It's definitely a little warmer than some of these previous. All right, Chase potato. Wow, that one's very soft. Vanilla. A little bit of black pepper mixed in with that one though. Maybe just a subtle hint of citrus, a little bit of lime. But really it's that vanilla, real creamy vanilla that's playing through this one, but it's very clean. That would be a very nice all-around vodka. All right, finally, three olives. It starts very light and soft. But then a big um, big grain note builds. And a little bit of a pepper kick coming on mid palate. Pretty strong though. And also a little bit of vanilla. But it's, luckily, it's not getting to a real rubbing alcohol point for us. It's just getting a little spicy on that finish. 
that's it for that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the comments, and everybody have a great evening, and cheers.